in case no one has ever said this out loud to you, it was not okay that your mom put you in Weight Watchers in elementary school. I mean, if you're an overweight kid, what's wrong with your mom wanting you to be healthier? <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. What's the problem with that? Another instance of fat phobia. I was trying on my bachelor's graduation gown. Doesn't zip. Doesn't zip. If you don't fit in a graduation gown, then maybe the problem is you. I'm a size 26. No refunds. No exchanges. It comes in one size. You just go by height. I even sized up a height. But anyway, yeah, no refunds, no exchanges, so I'm just out like $35, $40. And now I have to buy a third party. There is a cat hunting a bird outside of my window, and it is so cute. But anyway, this is really fucking annoying. It's basically just saying fat people don't belong in academia. We're not included in seat sizing. Fat people don't go to college. Fat people don't graduate. And again, I'm only a size 26. How many other people got this last minute and just didn't have a gown? People will minimize this as they minimize everything to do with fat issues. But these things show we aren't thought of. We aren't considered. Your food addiction is not the world's problem. That's kind of annoying. Oh, I agree. <laughs> yeah. You don't like Lizzo? I don't know. I, yeah. I don't. The sun is so bright. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Lizzo, but I will be damned if a group of thin women hate on her. I will go to war against that. Why is she annoying? Hey, that's skinny phobic, isn't it? That's not very body positive at all. Man. Crazy, surgeons are testing a new way to lose weight by turning off your hunger hormone. Y'all realize this is fucking horrifying, right? Like, stop fucking torturing fat people. Torture? Stop coming up with any fucking way to cause rapid weight loss, which is incredibly unhealthy. Stop coming up with every fucking way to torture fat people. That's a little bit overdramatic. And listen to fat people instead. The hatred of our bodies and the desire to do anything to make us smaller is what is literally fucking killing fat people. No, actually, it's the fat that is killing fat people. I am sick of fucking people coming up with new ways to torture us. Y'all literally would rather have us all dead. It's disgusting. And this creator's comments in the thread for this video are horrible. And they need to stop fucking talking about this subject because they don't know what they're talking about. This is not a successful thing. This is not something that's exciting or celebratory. This is horrible. This dude or girl, I think it's a dude. I can't really tell. But, bro, you need to stay off the internet. It's, it is clearly too dangerous for you. I'm fat. No, you're not fat. You're beautiful. Yes, but I'm both very beautiful and fat. Would say that no, you are a fat. thick, curvy, fluffy it's orb of light. Please stop doing this. I know you mean no harm, but fat is an inoffensive term. And fatness and beauty can actually exist in the same person, whether you believe it okay. or not. The implication that it can't is actually deeply rooted in fat phobia, which is even further rooted in white what? supremacy. And you probably need to educate yourself, check yourself. There are people that believe that fat phobia is rooted in racism. Like, no, fat is just, un it's unhealthy. Like, being obese is so common, but it is also so unhealthy. Race has nothing to do with that. Of course, there's going to be a stigma around being obese because it isn't good. There's nothing good about it, okay? Race has nothing to do with it. And maybe heal your fatness wound if you're a fat person yourself. So stupid. Yeah, okay, no. Birth control is not gonna make you look like that. It can make you feel hungrier, which is probably what happened here. And so she probably overate and severely underestimated how many calories she can eat. And that's what caused her to gain weight. Because obviously your body won't just make fat out of nothing, right? You taking birth control doesn't just make you fat. So she's overeating. That's, that's the only reason she could look like that. But the real problem here is that she's blaming her birth control. So until she actually recognizes what the problem is, she's she's not going to change. She's gonna it's gonna get worse or she's gonna say the same. She'll probably be unhappy because she just blames her birth control. 
instead of correcting how she eats. What are you on Chinese oh delivery edition? I'm sorry, but where the fuck are all her comments containing unsolicited health advice from strangers? Well, she looked pretty healthy, Where are the comments so... worried about her health, saying she's going to die by the time she's 40? Where are the people counting her calories, although she didn't ask for them? Where are the people saying that it's disgusting to put that much food in your body? Where are the people assuming she eats like this every day based off of every a 60-second fucking TikTok? It, it Nowhere. Says cheat day. Go, go right now, click on her video, go in the comment section, and see if she even has a quarter of the hate comments. I Can you not read? It says cheat day, meaning not every day. I get in all of my what I eat in a day videos. Now, does she deserve hate comments? Absolutely not. Nor should you go in her comment section and start berating her about what she chooses to eat. Everybody has the right to do whatever the fuck they want with their bodies. But this is a perfect example about how fat people get harassed and mistreated for the same exact fucking things that thin people do. Sending all the love to this girl, but we need to do better about treating all bodies equally. So there are no comments like that because it's not a regular indulgence for her. Unlike for you, maybe. If you use your eyeballs, you can actually see whether or not she eats like that every single day anyways. So basically, you should learn how to read like right in front of you. She also seemed a little bit jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a doctor, <laughs> and you know, being overweight isn't healthy and it causes a lot of problems, so it makes sense that your doctor would want to know because it's kind of their job, you know? Maybe the problem here is that you don't know um, the extent of what being overweight can do to your body, in which case, just do, like, any research at all. Why does TikTok exist? Obviously to piss people like you off. I bet you couldn't do that standing up. <laughs> 